this video I'll show you how to create a local copy of a live WordPress site. So we're going to take your website from your web host and copy it to your computer so that you can play around with it without the fear of messing up anything. Unlike this guy. Sweat punch. Now, to make a local copy of your live site, we will need to install software on your computer that will run WordPress, and I will be using Local WP, which is free software for Mac and Windows. Now, let's go to your live website and install a migration plugin. It will copy everything we need. All right, this is the website I want to move from my existing website to a local copy so that I can play around with it or test something and just to have an instance somewhere that it's not live. So if I do some updates, if I, I want to try out something new, it doesn't show up on live site immediately. So for this, I already have a software called local, which is the software that I'm going to use to install it locally. If you don't have this, then check out the white YouTube card should appear somewhere here on top in the right corner. There I show you how to install this and how you can get started. This is my WordPress dashboard for the same website. And all we have to do is install a plugin. Let's go plugins, add new. And then there's a great plugin called all in one. Just type in all dash in dash one. And we want this all in one WP migration. Let's install it. And don't forget to activate it. All right, once it's done, you can scroll down here on the left, you'll see a new menu item and it's called All-in-One WP. In this case, we are going to export the this website. So let's click on export. And here you need to select export to. So you can select a few things, but with the free plan, I think you're able to export only in the file. And once you click on it, it will start exporting it into a file that you can then later download. So I'll pause this video until this is done. All right, once it's done, you'll see a, a button like this one. So you can download this one now. So I'm going to click on it and then save it on my computer. Hey, if you liked the video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now that we have the zip file, we need to install the same plugin on your WordPress instance on your computer. And then we can uh, upload everything. Sounds complicated, but it's super easy. Okay, once it's downloaded, now we can go to our local WP. And here I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to give it the name uh, Tips with Punch. So, the same as my website, advanced options. I don't think we need to adjust this. I'm going to just keep it simple. Continue. I'm going to keep the preferred one. And for this, something simple. Just this is on my computer, so I'm not too worried about it. Again, advanced options, uh, no, not multi-site. I'm gonna add this site. Now it's gonna just generate this site and soon I'll be able to access WordPress just from within it. And once it's done, you'll see that it's here now and the site is running because you have this button stop site. So I'm just gonna go to the admin area. So that's the WordPress instance. And it will open up in a new tab. And now I just add my password, username, and then log in. Don't save. Yeah, not now. And then again, we go to plugins, add new. And we need to add the same plugin as we did already on our live site. So let's do that all dash in one. Like this, all in one WP migration. Install now and don't forget to activate. And now here on the left, we have a new menu. Let's import in this case. So that's the file we just downloaded. So right now the maximum upload size is 300 megabytes. And if you need more, you can follow the instructions here, how to do it. Or you can follow the instructions here, or you can just uh, go to the video in the description. I have a timestamp there to the right place so you can see how this is done. And now just going to go to my downloads folder. 
And from the downloads folder, I'm gonna grab the file I just downloaded. And now it's starting to import it. Again, this will take a bit of time and it's gonna install it. So first it needs to uh, get the file and then it's gonna install everything. I'm gonna pause the video until it's done. So for me, it got stuck at 100 like this. So it actually was there for a few seconds, but don't worry, it's gonna go and proceed from that. So it's, it takes a bit of time, even at 100. It looks like it's stuck, but actually it's, it's doing its work. So one thing to keep in mind that it's going to overwrite things. So make sure you're in the right place. So I'm in my local setup now. So I'm gonna click on proceed. And again, now it's gonna import everything and I'm gonna pause the video again. Okay, and once it's done, it only took like 30 seconds. Once it's done, you'll see this message. And now you can see that you need to do a few things for this to work properly. So let's finish this one right now. Let's finish. And now what we need to do is go to the settings and permalinks. And now it will log you out. This is normal. You can actually log in uh, with your uh, same credentials as you log in to your real website. So I'm gonna add the password and the name. And now in the permalink settings, all you have to do is come down here and save the changes. And again, save it another time. I don't know why you need to do it twice. Don't ask me, but this is how it works. This is what they suggest you do as well. Now it's fully functioning website. So if I go and visit the site, you'll see it's on my local instance, but it's completely broken. Wait a minute. Disappointed! So you saw that my website was completely broken. That was because the caching plugin was really, didn't know what to do. So I disabled my caching plugin for now. And later on, I can just enable it because then it'll just regenerate the caching. And now if I go to my website and open it like this one, so the front page, you can see that everything that was on my live site is now appearing here as well. And it's all on the local one. So now I can go on and play around with this. And if I feel like it, I can also then either uh, manually change things on my live site or just take this whole thing and migrate it to back to a live site. Once you're done with everything and you want to move your local WordPress back to live, you just use the same migration plugin. Now keep in mind that if you do a full migration, you might lose some things like comments and stuff like that from your live website. Since you have WordPress in locally now, you have to check out my six must have plugins for every WordPress site. These will help you with load speed, security and SEO. Just click on the, this video card here. Or if you're sick and tired of plugins, then take a look at the second video right here, where I will show you how to get high quality and copyright free images for your website. Whoosh.